Good morning from Zurich, Switzerland, my lovely people, and you're watching Skyfly Girl. My name is Maria, welcome to my channel. I'm in the company for seven years and for sure I have something to tell you. For sure you know that every airline before every flight has a briefing. It's a special time when the team sits together and discuss details about the flight, about the uh, over, about details of the customers, and a lot, a lot of little secrets. I cannot tell you that, but I can tell you from my experience how to pass Emirates interview. That's a matter of psychology. No matter how good you are, if you do not show what you can do and what you are good at, nobody can see it, nobody can dig deep to see what is this very little particular thing inside of you that you should be picked for. Every time at the briefing, if I have time or after the briefing, I ask my colleagues how many people participated in that open day when you successfully were chosen uh, as crew. But usually the answer is uh, 10 out of 1000 or 15 out of uh, 500, it depends on the country. 10 out of 1000. Can you imagine? So you should be very good at something, because if not, you would never be picked for. When we chat during the flight and I ask my colleagues who were chosen, so what do you think you are good at? And uh, some people might say, I don't know, but some crew can give extensive answer as what particular they are good at. It might be service, you might have experience with the customer service and you know exactly it's your best, best thing out of your character that you can do it the best. Or maybe you're very good at security. Maybe you had experience also at the job or connected somehow with the security and safety. Or, or maybe you're very good with the medications and medical cases. Maybe you are the one who had experience as a nurse and you mentioned that. So inside of you, you have to find that a little thing that you are best at. It should be something, for sure there is. And then you need to show it at the interview. When I was passing the interview seven years ago in Moscow, I had to resign from my job. My father wanted to be pilot, but in Russia it was impossible to get into aviation if you had bad vision, so his eyes he could not see properly. But he told me, Maria, why don't you apply as a cabin crew? And I was thinking that I will never ever ever try Russian airline because uh, that was not my standard. My standards were always high. I was always aiming for impossible and it challenged me all the time when somebody told me Maria, you're from normal family. Even my mom told me once, why you rush so much? Why do you jump so high? Why? You're from a normal average family, you're from a small village, because I was born in a tiny, tiny village in Siberia in Russia. Just get married, have kids, enjoy. It triggers me even more to show to everyone, to show to myself, to prove that I can. I was invited to the open day, I bought one-way ticket to Moscow and I said, I'm gonna do that. If not, I will never ever ever in my life will be connected with the aviation. Because for me it was the best. I still remember, I was in a little room in my house. I'm gonna show you because I'm going on vacation back home. So I sat and I just googled best airline in the world. That was the sentence I put in a Google search. I clicked search and then I saw pictures that came up girls with the red hats and beautiful white scarves. I had no idea. In my little village, it was no resources to search, to know about that. What is Emirates? I had no idea. So I said, I'm gonna do that. There is another thing called greed. If you don't have it, you will not really succeed in anything because uh, if it does not trigger you for a challenge further, that's it. I flew with a girl, we did a flight to Prague Czech Republic and she told me she tried eight times. Eight times. You know that between times that when you try to apply there should be six months period notification. So you cannot do it in January and then do it in March again. You have to do January six months and you have to apply again. She did it eight times and she passed. Can you imagine? Because she said I'm gonna get it. So that's what should be in your mind when you go for the interview. And when you go Remember that you are a team. Remember that you're gonna have group exercises and you need to show that you're a team. Don't be me, it's me, I think. You can easily say, we discussed with my team and we decided that and my opinion is, that sounds good. I wanted to be cabin crew with Emirates so much. I still remember, for me, it was magic. That's why I started my blog, Strawberry Emirates, seven years ago. And then from there I moved to Instagram because you guys asked me to do that. And from Instagram I moved to YouTube vlogs. Then no, no, not really vlogs, that time it was one video every month. No voice, just music and me running around somewhere in Paris. But you really insisted, so that's why I'm doing these vlogs for you. 
and I always get emails, DM messages on Instagram, comments on YouTube, Maria, please, please, please say how to pass Emirates interview. There is no secret how to pass, it's all about you. Remember that there is someone who is learning every single day to be at your place and be the best person who is crew in order to take the best qualities out of himself to be this crew. You know, people dream about it. People dream about it since childhood. And I get emails from 12 and 13 year old girls and boys who are going to become cabin crew and asking me, oh, I have to wait till I'm 21. And I'm always replying, yeah, but that's good because you're gonna succeed because you want it so much. And you already, you're 12, you already know what you want and concentration is the best key. Because if you don't concentrate, that's it. Recruiters who are gonna look at you, they're so professional, they do it uh, in different countries and they know, they can already see, okay, they can spot you. But first impression counts here as well, because when you are standing, all of you, they're outside and you know, recruiters sometimes pass by and they have a look and they already can spot, okay, so let me focus maybe on this one. It's how I think, probably it's like how it is. Embrace them when you see them, when you're gonna talk to them because you're gonna have a little interview before it all starts. Imagine they are customers, imagine you're already on the plane and that they sit in front of you and that you need to take care of them, that you have to be just nice, sweet and uh, attentive to details. Just remember that. And uh, the passion that you have is always seen in the eyes. Even myself, I'm not a recruiter, but every time I go to aviation college for exams that we have every year and I see new crew who study at the college and they have a lunch break, eyes when they look at you you can see that you will never confuse it and they want to study they want to be best they want to pass all exams they're so happy when they get 100 percent every test that's who i guess should be in the airline but i believe everybody should be at uh, his or her own place if you are wrong for the job don't even try just leave the space for someone who really wants it us cabin crew are maybe two percent of the whole world population so you see i still have passion and this passion is with me. Even when I'm gonna resign, it's gonna happen eventually in a few years when I'm gonna have babies and I'm gonna get married, then it's gonna be finished. But this passion will always be in my heart. Every time I look at the airplane in the sky, it still comes up. I still love it so much. <laughs> so it was funny. So that is my little secret. That's how I passed the interview and that's what I can share with you. And I'm gonna see you hopefully with me together on one of the flights and i'm gonna ask you so why you out of 1000 people what do you think <laughs> thank you for the video and um, i kiss all of you please if you like the video subscribe to my channel and put a like under the video also you can check my instagram page i put a link under the video description that's uh, skyfly girl exactly the same name and I'm gonna make a new video for you. Ask me any questions, any suggestions. I'm, I'll try to reply. And I will see you very soon again. Bye!